What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and we have an update on the Nintendo Switch 2 dock situation. Following up on my video about the Nintendo Switch update breaking some docks and them just not working all together. If you're unfamiliar, the version 21 update made it so some third party docks, namely these cheap $20 ones that work with the Switch 2 and Switch 1 and MacBooks and phones, etc. They no longer worked for the Nintendo Switch 2, but still did operate for other devices. There was also some people who said that their original Nintendo Switch dock, the one that comes in the box, no longer functioned. However, after a power cycle, functionality was restored. In a statement, Nintendo spelled out the obvious, saying Nintendo Switch 2 outputs auto visuals once it detects that it is docked into a Nintendo Switch 2 dock. S Nintendo Switch does the same, outputting audio visuals once it detects that it is docked into a Nintendo Switch dock. More importantly, the company claimed that it, quote, does not have any intention to hinder or invalidate legal third-party dock compatibility. It is unclear what Nintendo considers to be a legal dock. Uh, a great example, like the GameStop one, the GameStop third-party dock, supposedly that one works fine. Also, a few of the other ones that I've reviewed in that video also work fine. It's mainly just the cheap $20 docks. However, almost every single one that I covered in that video, and I heard many other companies, have also released firm updates. In my original video in the description, um, I'm also going to put it in the description of this video in the pinned comment, uh, I've included a few of the links as far as Gemdo, who they make a blue one and they made the long cable one. They have a firmware update. Vivo Link, who does one of the silver ones, they have a firmware update. Ironically enough, that's not the silver one that I kept and that's not the blue one that I kept. So both of these are not by those people. I reached out to them on Amazon, but the one that is sold by Magic Mai, and it's called the Equi Mai Mai that I recommended, they just provided me with this Google Drive link. By the way, I tried to run the other blue one firmware update on my blue one and it just bricked it and this no longer transfers power or video or anything so this is actually a brick wait a second wait hang on i just downloaded the the software that they sent me for this and this is the updater this is the exact same updater that the other company sent me for the blue one <laughs> It's the exact same program. I know, because I can't read it, and there's the red line, and then you take the USB-C and you plug it into this port in particular, plugging in C to C, and then this is gonna turn green. Well, no, it's gonna update, and then after it's done updating, it's gonna turn green. Great, and now it's green, so now it's updated? Okay, so here is my switch plugged into a regular dock. I'm gonna take the switch out, plugging in the power and the HDMI, and now plugging in the switch. And fingers crossed. Oh. There we go. Oh, the colors are horrible. I don't remember if the colors were always this bad. I don't think they were. Is that is that just a setting? Why is it so bad? No, nope. all of my settings are still the same. It just looks so blown out. Look at all of the purple here and Dinkum, which is the, the cozy Australian game. Look at the face shadows. Look at the purple on Maridon. And now let's plug in the regular dock. Yeah, yeah, it no longer looks like like oversaturated neon. I don't, I don't think it used to look that bad. <laughs> just saying. But uh, yeah, there is a bunch of horrible software that's PC and I think maybe Mac. Oh, this is a PC application. It doesn't work on Mac. It probably works on Linux with Wine. You're not gonna be able to use this on any sort of mobile application unless it can run a native Windows application, which I don't know nearly enough about Androids to recommend anything like that. So it's a really, really crappy workaround, but it is a workaround. You're much better off just buying one of the $40 docks. That's for sure. Two of the companies that I featured in that video that no longer work, they have public releases. This person, I had to DM them and they just sent it over. And then the other person is requiring an order number. So reach out on Amazon to the seller 
just scroll down to the message center and say, hey, can you send me the firmware update for the new version? And hopefully after they get enough thousands of replies, they'll just be like, okay, here's the firmware update and make it public instead of them having to answer so many emails. But because I did that video and because I recommended these products, I personally feel compelled to make sure that I do these follow-ups. That way, I in no way, shape, or form encouraged for you to buy a product with your own money to then waste that money. And that just genuinely makes me feel like if I don't do this video, I'm a horrible person. So that's the reason I'm doing these follow-ups. And if you did purchase one of the products from that video and it is no longer working, hopefully this video can lead you in the right directions. Again, in the description, I'm going to have the links of the manufacturers who have released their firmware updates. So you can go ahead and update your system that way. Unfortunately, it looks like it's PC only, although weirdly enough, there's a Mac folder in there, but I think the application's only gonna run on Windows. Great. Uh, well, guys, if you found this information helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.